Hey y'all, back with another one. Nights in Love Fun Time. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment. Get involved. Um, today we have a update. We have a Springfield Prodigy versus a Rock Eye Attack Ultra versus a Apollo Eleven. Now, the last video, I believe I told you guys I would do a shooting video, but I decided to wait on that because Springfield Prodigy is V8 ported by DSC Gunworks, and the Apollo 11 is not, but it has slide cuts in it for a, a porting. I felt like the, the Rock Island didn't have any ports on it, so it would have been an unfair comparison because the Prodigy would have shot flatter than these two because it's ported. So I said, let's wait on that. In the meantime, my Rock Island Attack Ultra came back with the DSC comp conversion, I believe, integrated comp. And it is a piece of art. I got the suppressor high sights and milled for optic with a RMR footprint it has a plate a plate back here so I believe that's option one on the website so go to the website um, DSC Gunworks it's like a, a, a you'd be like a kid in the candy store with the stuff they have on that site uh, and thanks Dave for the good great work and the great turnaround he told me it would be 12 weeks I mean I believe on the website it's like 12 weeks for this work he did in six weeks i believe i was shocked i wasn't looking for it that early because i when i hit when someone give me a time i get i put my you know you you, you don't get your hopes up high because this case there's any complications and you, you know you just don't want to be upset you know, or like damn but with him i'm 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 always it's always the opposite it's always the wow factor because he always either he does it like with this he does he said seven days on seven day this was back at my house. His turnaround is on point was faster. Now, hey, some people might experience something different. I that has not been my experience. The man does what he said he's gonna do. Uh, he has a lifetime customer in me. I will suggest this is you know I don't like giving endorsements, but I will suggest you guys go over there and see what he got in. You want some work done on your gun? Uh, go with him. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, other people are out here doing good work, but this is what this is my experience and what I've experienced. Okay, he sent it back. He said, "Put a thousand rounds through it and uh, shoot it wet for the first thousand rounds. Shoot it wet to break it in because guess what? He fitted this barrel to this slide extremely tight. The lockup is impeccable." Uh, this is going to be a flat shooting gun, guys. I haven't even shot it yet, and I can tell you this is going to be the best shooting gun I have. Um, what else? He told me when it when it came back. He told me my he told me my trigger wasn't that smooth. I had it between three 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 and a half four pound. It was probably it probably, it, it wasn't smooth. I admit that it wasn't. So when he sent it back, he told me that he said the red dirt has a trigger that more than likely will fit it. It's the red dirt PT trigger, which is probably a Phoenix trigger, a Phoenix Trinity trigger bow that's probably a little wider than old function in this. Most triggers don't function aftermarket triggers don't function in this firearm, fellas. So I said I'll give it a shot, but in the meantime, I went in and polished these internals up and polished that trigger bow, and guess what? I don't know if you can see that take up. This is the take up. Let me show you again. Take up. I have a one and a half pound trigger pull in this gun. It's smooth. Um, add that to the weight of this gun. This gun was an accurate gun to begin with without any work done. Anybody that has this gun know this gun is heavy. That weight helps this gun shoot flat. So, think of this, an extremely heavy gun with a comp barrel and a light trigger. 
You don't think this gun's going to shoot extremely accurate? That's the recipe for an accurate gun, fellas. Okay. I did order a red dot. Ta-da! UUQ. So this is the UUQ Eagle C28 for RMR cut. So this is the RMR footprint, this plate on here. So, because I, I got an SR on the way. So, in the meantime, I ordered this off Amazon because I wanted something cheap until it got here. And when it got here, I don't know if you can see the window. Can you see the window on it? Can you see how bright it is? This blew me away. This absolutely, absolutely, absolutely blew me away, this red dot. So when I got it, guess what I said? I said, let me go do some research on it. I watched a few videos. I saw a guy do a torture test on it. He ran over it with a car. I saw him shoot it with a shotgun, with rifles, and the, the, the gun was accurate with, with the shotgun, rifle, and the handgun was extremely accurate. So, which leads me to my conclusion on this. Guys, we getting cheated. <laughs> They're overcharging for red dots. I will admit I haven't put it through my test yet, but from what I've seen, it's going to perform. I'm going to shoot it. I'm happy with that red dot. Um, I'm going to do a comparison with the SRO come here. It's going to it's going to take a lot for the SRO to make me change my mind on that dot. I'll tell you that. And I might end up sending the SRO back keeping that one because that one's cheaper. I'm, hey, I'm not rich. The cheaper option, if that cheaper option is equivalent to that expensive option, the only thing I'm getting is a name. I think y'all can use y'all brain to tell which one I'm going to go with. It came with a wiping cloth. came with two batteries. came with a bunch of screws. came with some tools to take it on and off. came with tools to turn the um, windages and um, elevation. It came with a lifetime warranty and an owner's manual how to maintain it. And how to work it. It even tells you how to sight the red dot in. This is, this is a nice one. You don't know how to sight your optic in. It gives you a little instruction. In here on how to do it. So, where are we now? Okay, so guys, all we have now is I'm waiting. I'm going to get this ported. I got a, 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 a straw fire for this, but I broke the screw on it somehow. I was being ridiculous, and I so I I, I got to put a screw in there, and I have it mounted back on this. Um, I'm thinking of taking this CT Trace um, red dot off of here because I want something bigger. This is, no, don't get me wrong. This red dot, CT Red Trace, it's no slouch. It's a good red dot. Great red dot. But this optic window on this is nice. I might end up putting this on there and putting the SR. No, I might put the SR on this one and leave this one alone. I don't know. We'll see what happens when it get here. Um, that's pretty much it today. So, fellas, I know guys said they wanted more details on Facebook about this gun and those gun groups I'm in. They wanted more detail about the gun. So, I'm gonna tell you guys this. I haven't shot it yet. You want you you? I'm gonna give you the shooting, the shooting video. But I'm just giving you a quick rundown because some guys want to know how much it costs and all this to get work done. Go to the DSC website and you will get the price from there. Or you can message Dave on, go to DSC on Facebook and you can message Dave from there, I guess. Or go to Dave and, and ask him. Just ask him, you know, what? tell him what you, if you don't see something on there, you can probably ask him, could he do it for you? And he probably will tell you yes or no. You know. I'm just giving you guys a better look at the gun work oh, man it's, i'm happy guys i'm happy this is my favorite gun i can't say it enough this was my favorite gun this uh this springfield project look how smooth that gun is look how smooth that is like that trigger is Whew. oh my god this was my best one my favorite i'm switching over to this this is a pretty smooth gun too look see how smooth that you see how smooth that the action is. 
See how light that trigger pull is? It's a little more, it's a little more take up on this one than the other two, but that's fine. Still a light pull. Okay, guys, that's it for today. If there's anything, oh, and I didn't get a paint job on this gun. So, I couldn't think of a paint, a pattern for a coating on this gun. I don't know whether I want to go DLC, hard chrome, um, or just Cerakote, or uh, what's that other one? Uh, PVD. I'm thinking I just want to go Cerakote or or, or uh, hard chrome, or I don't know. You guys give me a pattern or idea, then I'll send it back off to Dave and have him take care of it. But you guys, guess I can't come up with one. I, I do want it. I have to. The only thing this gun is lacking is a coat. It's a nice looking coat on it. Uh, Excuse me, fellas. If you see. If you got an idea for a nice coat, hit me up in the comment section. I'll, I, you know, I go through these comment sections. And let me know. Maybe I'll take your idea and do it. Um, the only, that's the only thing this gun is missing. This gun... We'll be doing the comparison with Chicago XC at some point with this gun. After it's coated, I want you guys to tell me, is this budget build for a comp gun better than a Staccato XC, which you're going to have to pay all that money for? Because I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, this gun is better than Staccato XC. I haven't even shot it yet, and I'm telling you, it's better. The only thing Staccato XC has on it at this moment is the coat on that Staccato is better than the coat on this one right now at this point in time. But that's going to be taken care of. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. I can't wait to... Oh, I am going to do a shooting video between just these two until this one get poured and come back. So, so you know, just to keep it something in, in a... You know, I ain't got you ain't got to wait so long to get another video. I'm gonna do a shooting comparison. See which one recoil more, the V8 port or the integrated comp. Which one has more recoil? I kind of in my head, I kind of know which one I think gonna have one, but we'll see because only thing that matters is what what's happening in reality, what's happening. Because I can tell you what I think, but is that really what happens? Let's see. Y'all have a good day. Like, subscribe, and share, please.